Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage in God's Word is Acts chapter 15, verses 1 through 21. In the previous passage that we looked at, Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch and visited the cities where they had preached the gospel in the first half of their journey. Some of the new believers were being persecuted, and the apostles encouraged them to stand fast as they would face hardships as they followed Jesus. They also appointed leaders to help organize the new churches. When they returned to Antioch, they made known all the good work that God had done on their trip, especially how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. Now in today's passage of God's word, when Paul and Barnabas returned to Jerusalem, they discovered that some Jewish believers were preaching that in order for Gentiles to be saved, they must also follow the rules from the law that God had given to Moses. These Jewish believers did not understand that because of Jesus, God now saves people by his grace alone, not because they do good works to earn it. Paul and Barnabas speak to the apostles and the elders at the Jerusalem council. The apostles share examples from their ministry of how God saved Gentiles through grace because of their faith and examples from Old Testament scriptures to demonstrate that this was God's plan all along. Before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Lord Jesus, we ask now that you would give us the help of the Holy Spirit to illumine our minds and to open our ears to understand what you have said in your word. We pray in your holy name. Amen. So, as I read, you follow along with me, and I'm going to be starting now at Acts chapter 15, verse 1. Certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers. Unless you are circumcised according to the custom taught by Moses, you cannot be saved. This brought Paul and Barnabas into sharp dispute and debate with them. So, Paul and Barnabas were appointed, along with some other believers, to go up to Jerusalem to see the apostles and elders about this question. The church sent them on their way, and as they traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the Gentiles had been converted. This news made all the believers very glad. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and elders, to whom they reported everything that God had done through them. Then some of the believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees stood up and said, the Gentiles must be circumcised and required to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to consider this question. After much, much discussion, Peter got up and addressed them. Brothers, you know that some time ago God made a choice among you, that the Gentiles might hear from my lips the message of the gospel and believe. God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. He did not discriminate between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of the Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear? No, we believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that we are saved just as they are. The whole assembly became silent as they listened to Barnabas and Paul telling about the signs and wonders God had done among the Gentiles through them. When they finished, James spoke up. Brothers, he said, listen to me. Simon has described to us how God first intervened to choose a people for his name from the Gentiles. The words of the prophets are in agreement with this, as it is written. After this, I will return and rebuild David's fallen tent. Its ruins I will rebuild, and I will restore it, that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord, even all the Gentiles who bear my name, says the Lord who does these things, things known from long ago. It is my judgment, therefore, that we should not make it difficult for the Gentiles who are turning to God. Instead, we should write to them, telling them, to abstain from food polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, 
from the meat of strangled animals, and from blood. For the law of Moses has been preached in every city from the earliest times and is read in the synagogues on every Sabbath. Well, that ends our reading for today. So now, what is God saying to you today in that passage that I just read for you? I want you to think about it. Read over the passage again, if you like, and then write down in your soap journal what God is teaching you. Don't forget to share it with someone else.